soir ou demain, dès que la lune rouge va sortir, tu devras nous raconter des histoires. Crois-moi, ce n'est pas un jeu. La Maca leur appartient. Il faut qu'ils fassent couler le sang. Raconte-moi une histoire. Et était une fois. Hi, my name is Gil Robertson, president of the African American Film Critics Association. Today on AFCA Roundtables, we're talking with director Philippe Lecote, director of Night of the Kings. We're going to kick things off and introduce you to our members involved today in this call, starting with Reginald Pounder in Chicago, Carolyn Hines in Toronto, Haby in Houston, Kim Singleton in New York, Mercedes Springer in Atlanta, Carolyn Mauriciette in Toronto, Al McGee in South Florida, Katia Woods, our facilitator in Philadelphia, Rhonda Rasha Penrice in Atlanta, and Nancy Green in LA. I'm gonna let everyone do what they do so well, and I'll see you on the other side. Hi, KB here with the Color Grade Podcast. Uh, what a fantastic film and beautiful use of storytelling and also dance. Uh, but for me, it was really the supernatural and spirituality elements in this film that were so intriguing. So can you talk a little bit about the process of adding those supernatural and spirituality elements into the film? You know, why did you make that choice? Uh, thank you for this invitation. Uh, 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 of course, in, in Night of the Kings, there is a very real elements and uh, supernatural or mystical elements. But uh, for us in Ivory Coast and in West Africa, it's not a contradiction because we, we, our vision, our culture uh, is, a, is a mix of uh, realism and magical. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not, a, it's very often to, 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 to add something about uh, uh, an animal who become a man or a man who become an animal or a woman. So uh, 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 in our culture, uh, the border between dead people, alive people, between invisible world, visible world, uh, magical things, realis realistic things, this border is very fine. And I wanted to, I wanted to not not just to making a film from, from Ivory Coast, from West Africa, but uh, making a film with our culture. It was important for me in Night of the Kings. It's for this, you have this mystical fight between the queen and the king, and they transform them in, in different animals. Uh, it's, uh, it's very natural for us. Hi, Philippe, this is uh, Reggie Ponder, the real critic out of Chicago. And when, when I looked at the first scene of this and it being in, in the jail system in a prison, um, you, you kind of get this sense of, of, of the chaos and the, the mess that happens when you look at a prison. But what you did here was there was a regalness, a humanity that you gave to the people and to the story. Can you talk about what were you trying to uh, say uh, generally about of the people who were in jail? Yes, uh, it, uh, uh, I, first I will say that I have, 
I have a real connection with uh, prison, with jail, uh, as a visitor. But uh, uh, when I was a child, uh, my mother was uh, in La Maca, in this prison, uh, for political reason. So I traveled uh, one day by week uh, in a collective taxi, cross, crossing this forest, because La Maca is inside the forest, Banco Forest. And, I, and, and uh, La Maca is a very open prison. And as a visitor, it was possible to, uh, to meet some prisoners, to have uh, a prisoner can take your bread or something like this, or, 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 or discuss about philosophy with you. Uh, so it was, for me, it was like, uh, it was not a sad, a sad, a sad moment. It was, uh, it was very strange. And it was like, La Maca was uh, like a kingdom with uh, queens, with kings, with luckies. And uh, I kept a strong image for, from this place. And uh, uh, in Night of the Kings, I wanted to observe uh, the society of prisoners as a real society, as uh, uh, with this code, with his laws, with his beliefs, like uh, the Red Moon, and uh, to observe how this, this, uh, this, with this government, how this society uh, works uh, uh, and, and what is uh, the fight uh, about power inside this society. It was important because usually when we speak about prison, it's to say they are bad guys or they are good guys. And uh, politically, it was uh, also important to say that uh, the production of, uh, sto of storytelling, uh, the, crest, the, the production of poetry is not, it's also for prisoners. Wow, thank, thank you so much. It, it really, really came through. Thank you for this piece of work. Hi, right, Carolyn Heiss for So Here's What Happened podcast. Um, Philippe, thank you so much for speaking with us today. I really love this film and it's beautiful for me because as a West Indian and Barbadian, I saw a lot of my, act, of my own culture in this film and how we integrate poetry and dance and music into actual storytelling. And it related a lot to that aspect. Could you tell me about integrating the choreography and the dances into the story itself and, we, and how you chose which scenes and which movements would would, choreo would be choreographed with the dancing of the of the of the cast? Yeah, uh, 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 this this idea started during the cast uh, because uh, we 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 spent two years to select it forty young people in Abidjan in, in different suburb popular suburbs in Abidjan and we selected martial art fighters, dancers, singers, new actors. So I, I, I had this idea first because I, I didn't want to use the place of prison uh, only for the narration to say, okay, we are in the prison, we have a storyteller and he, we, we will have flashback of his story. Uh, I, I, I wanted to, 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 to create a real place uh, where the, the story uh, is alive, is alive with prisoners, with dancers. And uh, at the beginning, uh, uh, we can see that Roman is alone to tell his story. But at the end, uh, he is not alone. He, he has all these all this prisoners around him uh, and they are a part of this, this story. Uh, uh, in the script, I call them uh, the players because they play what uh, the story said. And uh, they, 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 bring, they bring a sort of poetry, they play the Scorpio, uh, they play a bird, they play a queen. And, uh, and uh, uh, they are, they are, I, I wanted to, to engage their bodies in, in this story. Thank you, I thought it was beautifully done. Hello, Philippe, Kim Singleton out of New York City, Consider It Black Lit Television Show. Um, I was very struck by the cinematography in terms of how it portrayed the tone of the, the prison. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, some of the production design on how you set that tone and specifically the location. How did you find it? You know, what made you choose that for your film? Uh, outside or inside the prison? really inside, because I was struck like the hallways, like everything, it was put together so perfectly to really like evoke some emotion out of you about the prison. I, I worked with, uh, with a, a, a set designer, French set designer, uh, Samuel Tesser, and uh, it was my first time to work with him and he, he, he brought something new in my work. 
because uh, uh, we, we didn't want to shoot in La Maca. The outside, at the beginning of the film, the outside is La Maca, but uh, we didn't want to shoot in La Maca because it was very difficult uh, security and different things. So we rebuilt this prison, La Maca, uh, in uh, Grand Bassam, a city, a colonial city near Abidjan. Uh, we took uh, two buildings, two old buildings, uh, to make our prison. Of course, we have some details who are like in La Maca, but it's a, it's a prison of Night of the Kings. And uh, for, uh, for building this prison, I, 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 I worked uh, as a journalist, as a documentarist. Uh, I, I made a lot of research, a lot of image. I will say that I, uh, all, all, my, all, my, all my frame in this, in this film, in, in, the, in the prison, comes from real image I saw uh, in actualities, in news, and uh, I, use, I use all this and all these paintings and drawings on the wall of, this, of our prison comes from real drawings and real paintings from other prisons in South, in South America or in Africa, Sierra Leone, Liberia. And uh, we, we, we worked also with 25% of our extras were uh, ex-prisoners. So they, they were our advisors. Uh, for example, uh, we have a scene uh, when uh, Roman, the main character, meets uh, Blackbird in his room when he when he is in his, his bed. And uh, I put uh, I asked to put a ventilator, and uh, one 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 actor came, uh, ex prisoner came to see me, and he said, "No, in La Maca." We don't put a ventilator at night because of the forest. It's very cold. So, yeah, uh, we we work like this with them, and uh, it it brings a sort of authenticity. Awesome job, thank you. Hey, how you doing, Philippe? This is Al McGee with YETicket.com. Yeah. I really enjoyed the film. You seem to use the technique of the old Greek uh, plays. And also you had the chorus and things like that. But I was, I want to know a little bit more about you. When did you discover that you wanted to be a storyteller? Yes, I'm a storyteller. I'm a, I, I consider myself as a hyper narrative person. Uh, it means that uh, everywhere I can, I can see a story. Uh, for me, politics is a story, uh, uh, even a, uh, a list, uh, a list of a shop is a story. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I wanted to, I wanted to pay a tribute to oral tradition, Af West African oral tradition, our griots. Uh, in, in in West Africa, we have uh, we have griots. It it could be a man or a woman, and uh, a, a griot has three functions: is a poet, is a storyteller but he's also the historian of the kingdom. So for us, the real, even, real events and legend and, uh, and, and, and daily life uh, are together. It's the same, it's the same story. And uh, uh, it, by this way, I try to build the, the story of Roman. Uh, he, he, he could speak about politics. He could speak about, a, he could tell a legend. Uh, it's, it's the same story. Well, thank you very much and keep being a griot in film. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bonjour, Philippe. Katya Woods, uh, Cup of Soul Show. So, my question for you is um, can you expand, talk a little bit more about the importance of the tradition of storytelling? My family's from Brazil and we have that too in our culture. Talk a little yeah. bit why that is important to preserve, please. Uh, I, I will say, uh, I, want, I wanted to make a film about a ritual. I wanted to make a film about a ritual. And I think maybe uh, tell, telling a story is the first, is the first uh, gesture for, for humanity. Maybe the first thing we, uh, humanity made was telling a story. So it, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a way to, 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 to go to, at, uh, an origin of something, and I worked also with uh, 
uh, Arabian Nights because uh, uh, Roman, my main character, is at the same place in the same condition, in the same situation like uh, Sherazad. Sherazad is obliged to tell a story if she, she wants to survive. And she said, okay, I will tell, I will tell uh, the next, uh, the, the following part uh, tomorrow. Uh, and Roman play with the same, uh, the same game. He said, oh, I, I forget this. I forgot this. I want to add this. And I wanted to use uh, uh, this tradition of storytelling and also the tradition of storytelling in, 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 in West Africa. Uh, when uh, when uh, we speak about chorus, about Greek chorus, of course, it's like a Greek chorus because we are, you have a chorus, we have song, we have, but it's also a structure you will, you will find in some culture, in my culture, in Ivory Coast, I come, I come from Bete group, ethnic Bete, and uh, we have funerals uh, ceremony who are, like, who are exactly like this session. Uh, people, at one moment, people, they tell, they, 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 they tell a story, at one moment they, they dance, at one moment they discuss, I want, at one moment they eat, and all this together, but there's, there's always one level with, uh, with uh, the main level. Yeah, so I use, I use this too. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Merci. Hi, Philippe. Um, I'm Carolyn Morissette from my website, um, View from the Dark. And I also was struck by the humanity of this film. Um, and one of the scenes that really struck me was when um, Laurent Bagbo was being arrested. Um, and you see him kind of fumbling and putting his shirt on and yeah. looking really kind of diminished as a as you know, as this is leader, and now he's just a, a man putting on a shirt, trying to yeah. look dignified. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and like the political side of, of the film? Yeah, uh, 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 I come from. Uh, I I said at the beginning uh, about my mother. I come from a political family. Uh, my mother fighted for democracy in Ivory Coast for uh, doing a uh, lot of years. And uh, I have a political background in my family. So politics for me, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a narrative material because there is a lot, especially in Ivory Coast, uh, uh, who is a country hyper politicized, we have a lot of stories in, in, inside politics. For example, we, we, we had, a, we had a, a, a military who was president in Ivory Coast in 2000 and uh, uh, when he wanted to kill all, 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 all his opponents, uh, they said that uh, he, he, they killed his white horse. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Oufouet Boigny, the first president of, of Ivory Coast, he said that they, kill, they put a, a black cat in, uh, in front of his house. So there's always a mystical things in our politics and there's always a story. And uh, for me, uh, I wanted to, I, I like, uh, I like uh, directors like uh, Raoul Peck, like uh, uh, Ritipan, Cambodian Ritipan. I work with them as an assistant producer in Paris. And uh, I like when uh, 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 people, uh, uh, characters uh, uh, have a shock with the, the big history of their country. And, and for me, when I decided to tell the story of Zamakin, when I decided that my main character, Roman, will tell the story of Zamakin, I discovered that Zamakin was a part of a rebellion. And I said, oh, I will use, I will make the entry of Zamakin in this rebellion, in this rebellion, the day when they arrested Laurent Babo. Yeah, because when they arrested Laurent Babo, uh, they, uh, the day after, uh, there were uh, 2,000 more soldiers <laughs> in the rebellion. Yeah, so I said, okay, it's a, it's a sign, it's a something. And I wanted to, to give this image, uh, even if uh, there's something sad in this image. And in Ivory Coast, for example, when, when we made the release, uh, there was a big silence in, in, the, in, in theaters. Uh, 
in the theater at this moment because they say, oh, we are, we, we are in the process of reconciliation. Why you want to show this image? But for me, it's a story. It's a history of Ivory Coast. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, Philippe. I'm Mercedes with She Critiques in Atlanta. Um, I fell in love with this story and the characters um, as well, specifically Blackbeard. And the fact that he's a king and he's ruling this prison in a way as well. Can you talk about the demise or the downfall that Blackbird pretty much has and the snakes that are around him and what pretty much led to his downfall in the ruling of the prison? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, all great kings have a demise and a downfall. What do you think Blackbeard's uh, downfall was? Uh, Blackbird? He, 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 he comes from a real character. Uh, Yaku, the Chinese, uh, was a prisoner in La Maca, and he was the chief of the prison. He was, he was a gangster who became a rebel, we, we, and, and after a rebellion, he killed, he killed someone to, for, to stole something, and he, he went in a prison. And uh, when there was a lot of opposants in the prison, the, the, power, the, the, the power decided to make, to make him the chief of this prison. Uh, so uh, you, you have on YouTube uh, some image when he, 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 he organized his birthday uh, in the prison with uh, singers, with uh, young girls, and uh, he, he, he threw money like this. <laughs> yeah, so he was the chief and I used this image to, 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 to build Blackbird. But I didn't want to make a, 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 a very masculine film. I didn't want to show Blackbird like a, like a king. I wanted to show a, 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 a king who, 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 who works on his dead. Yeah. And uh, it's for this Black, Blackbird has a, a sort of blues. He's, a, he's at one moment when he, 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 he speaks about his son, what he will give to his son. And uh, yeah, I, I use it like more, more this character like this. Thank you so much. Hi, Philippe, uh, this is Nancy Green. Yeah. And um, I wanted to know a little bit more about the uh, tradition of the storytelling and how it has changed over time. Um, the way that you show it, the importance in the prison. I wanted to know, um, as it's still important in the culture, but as the culture has changed, how has that changed and how is it reflected in the film? Yeah, first I will say that uh, this ritual of roman, of telling the story to, to, to other prisoners, it's a real ritual in La Maca. Of course, they don't kill the, the storyteller at the end, but it exists. I, I started to make this film when I, when I, me, I met a childhood friend who was in La Maca and he told me, we, are, we choose a prisoner, he is obliged to tell a story each night. He, we call him a roman, novel. So, uh, and, and he said, uh, it's uh, to, uh, we, we need, an, I, uh, during my research, I met two ex-prisoners who were roman in La Maca. And they said, okay, roman is here uh, to, to to, to help us to forget the prison. And uh, uh, storytelling is very important in our culture, but I didn't want to show the, story, uh, the storyteller in this tradition. I, of course, I wanted to, 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 to put this tradition in a, in a modern place, in a contemporary place. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to say that, uh, Today, we speak about griots. Uh, mm -hmm. Griots comes from uh, uh, two, 200 years, but mm -hmm. uh, okay, it, it's traditional, but you will find in Abidjan, in a city of 10 million people, each Sunday, griots who were in a wedding or in a, in a, in a party. Uh, uh, and when you, when you heard uh, Congolese music, when you heard Coupe de Calais, Ivorian music, there is a, uh, at the beginning, they, they say they say the glory, they say the name of ten people. Uh, it's 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 a process of griots. Nice, thank you. 
Hi, it's Rhonda in Atlanta. I wanted to talk about, you know, with David Oyelowo being an executive producer and your film already being shortlisted for the Oscar, what kind of potential does that show for African filmmakers telling stories on their own terms? What kind of impact do you think this, this made? Uh, the impact to tell a story as an African filmmaker? Yes, on your own terms, like in, you know, in the past, there's been, you know, global cinema, there has um, been a kind of pressure for people to assimilate to Western storytelling neat, um, um, ideas. And now, you know, we're coming into a period where people are being more expressive and really being more true to the stories that they want to tell. And, you know, I personally think that, you know, by this film, getting the kind of international reception or acclaim that it's been receiving, that that may be, you know, encouraging to create even more like bolder, you know, filmmakers going forward. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you for this question because it's, it's very important for me today, uh, the, 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 the reception of uh, uh, US about this film because we made uh, Sundance, we made New York Film Festival, we, uh, an American continent, we were in Toronto. But it, it's very important for me, uh, the reaction of African American, of black people uh, about this film. Uh, because I think there's a, a special moment today to tell our stories, to tell black stories. It's not only an African stories, it's a black culture. The black culture, uh, uh, I heard the critics who said, when we see this dancer, you, 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 you understand uh, why hip hop exists. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of connection. And uh, if, uh, if, uh, if you take some uh, slave narratives, you will see that uh, it's, it's, not it's not a classical line. It's, uh, it's, there's different story. There's uh, a, a slave who become an animal and who, uh, who become very strong. So I, I think uh, we need to bring our culture. Uh, it's time today for Africa to tell our stories. We have strong stories, strong legend. But my position is to, to find the way in cinema to make it international. Yeah. Because it's universal, telling stories and uh, put, uh, uh, even, even if you, you, you don't know prison, but uh, if you see a young boy who is obliged to tell a story, uh, uh, you, uh, it's universal position. Philippe, uh, follow question. The only um, white person in the film actually ends up saving um, Roman from his demise. Uh, was there a message or a reason for that? Uh, first, uh, uh, this actor who plays Silence is uh, it's Denis Lavant, a French actor. And uh, I made my short films in France with Denis Lavant. Uh, I made two short films, uh, black and white, 30 millimeters with him. We, we made also uh, on stage the diary of uh, Andrei Tarkovsky. Uh, so we have a... Uh, 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 a, a real connection and we discuss a lot about acting and when when I decided to to make this film about La Maca I, I remember that when I was child there was few uh, white people in La Maca few women few not a lot but few men and I and I say also politically if uh, if uh, if we want to make an international cinema, is African cinema is a cinema, we, we can bring, we can uh, invite an actor, a white actor or an, Ameri an, an African American actor or an Asian actor. Yeah, it's important not to, to, to stay close. Thank but you. I, I, I use silence, this character of silence. I didn't want to put him inside the, the conflict. He is around, uh, he is uh, almost muet, and uh, he is uh, more poetic, and he is uh, the, the best friend, finally. He helps a lot, uh, the main character, Roman. Thank you, Philippe, for joining us today. On behalf of the world's largest group of Black film critics, we thank you for your time, and have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>